that's indicative there. 14 to 9 with the mark. Move from, uh, from Norm there with Simpson, who's been tagging on Kelly. Kelly now going onto the ball for the Swans. 5 1 1 2 for a New South Wales New South Wales, sorry. We're all going to make that mistake. We are. We're in at the Barrich. Barrich who goes towards Longmire. Good mark, Longmire. And uh, New South Wales with a great chance here to get a goal within 30 seconds of the resumption of play. Longmire who kicked eight against Victoria out of 13. Got back into form last week with seven goals against Essendon. Drop punt looks pretty good. And he steered it through. Second goal for John Longmire and New South Wales 6-1 to 1-2. Yes, John Longmire is really starting to exert some sort of influence here. But they're getting the ball out of the centre a little bit too easily now. And John Longmire, if he's allowed to take chess marks, will go on and kick possibly 10 goals. An easy kick from 35 metres. Back to the centre with Peter Cameron. And Queensland need to do something to stem the tide. There's the kick by Carlson to the half foot line. Gaper showing a bit of dash tonight. He's enjoying this. Krasiska. Round the corner goes Carlson to the half foot line. Some holding was going on. It will go the way of New South Wales to Darren Holmes. Holmes at half back. Brings it around the centre wing. Four players fly for this mark. McGaper was in the centre of the pack. Wheeler got it further afield to Kelly, his Swans teammate. Danaher versus McGaper. I, I mentioned the store gift, and there's two guys who certainly would not win a store gift. Terry Danaher and Scotty McIver, but both have been terrific players. Hanley wins the tap cleverly. McIver's kick. Here's uh, Jason Cotter, who we mentioned in the first term. Coleman should take it on his chest, and he does. Play very well at Footscray after playing a lot of years here in Sydney. Goes back. Billy Brown was the target, and why not? He's in such good form. His Barrage. Handball. Terry Danaher running onto it. Still with Terry Danaher. Left foot. Not a bad kick by TD. And we're just missing a behind. So point to Danaher. He's got 1-2 out of the Swans total of 6-2 to 1-2. Rain tumbling down here. It's getting a little heavier. And uh, this is a big margin now. Five goals as we look at the bench. Lewis to bring her back in. Yes, we saw Craig Nettlebeck looking very happy there. Number two is Corey Bell. That was Carlson. Further afield to David Wern. Oh, Wern's kicked it straight into the man. And luck's a fortune because they're able to come in and make the tackle. And New South Wales couldn't get clear. And it looks like Troy Gray at the bottom of that pack. It is. Will be a bounce at the 50 metre line. Going to be quite Gray tonight after a good game last week. Brownless taps it down to Werner, who's having a great game. Hooks it on the left foot. He intelligent. Oh, what a good mark, Terry Danaher. A strong grab. Yes, he's showing some pretty good form tonight, TD. Here we see in a one-out battle with Scott McIver. Excellent hands from Terry Danaher under immense pressure from McIver. And he sets himself up for a shot at his second goal. Terry Danaher directly in front. Kicks it goal and puts it through. Four to eight, Danaher with two goals. And this rain really coming down in uh, very, very strongly. Carroll taking it from Coleman towards full forward. Longmire attempted a half volley, taps it over. Gibson got rid of him with a hip and shoulder. The handball back to Lynn. Lynn is playing his football at the moment in South Australia with Central Districts. And the free kick will come back to him. Man on the mark is uh, Andrew Thompson. One of the youngsters for the Swans. Well, Hawthorne don't have to worry about Dunstall getting injured. He'd be dying of the cold down there. They can't get it past the half forward line. The hypothermia, maybe. Yes, uh, certainly not getting much of the action. Here's Voss. Michael Voss, who's just 16 years of age, plays it for Morningside. And the kick taken by... Uh, the Richmond player Tim Powell. Yes, one of the best men on the ground at the moment, Tim Powell. Looking for Brown. He's got a couple to beat. It's Hanley over the top. There's Wheeler. Oh, Lawson. Go. Wheeler cut one high. Now Billy Brownless. A left-hand hand pass. Racing after it for Queensland is Simpson. And eventually the ball forced over the line at half forward for New South Wales. Michael Werner and David Wern on screen. 
this inaugural state of origin match new south wales went into the game as hot favorites and they've built up a big lead already brownless is uh, tap out uh, smothered off page very well by gibson lawson tries to barge his way through brownless to werner goes for a big kick across the face of goal longmire's uh, outnumbered punched away from mckiver good play in the end to concede a behind but unfortunately, Jared, it's one-way traffic at the moment with New South Wales up to 45 and Queensland 8. Yes, we well, had expected Queensland would be well behind. They're very much undergunned. Only three Queensland players have played over 50 AFL games. In comparison, the New South Wales have nine. And a lot of their new, newer, younger players for New South Wales have had a full season with the Swans this year, like Troy Gray in front of us on screen there. Well, that was Darren Carlson getting it to Corey Bell. Handley, very impressive. And under pressure, he handballs it over the line, but it, it is a real goer, Steve Handley. And what a fine year. He's actually keeping uh, Damien Burke out of that Geelong side at the moment. Here's Billy Brownless getting into Handley's back. Wheeler, a sweeping hand pass. Racing after it is Glenn Page. He traps it onto the left foot, hooks it in towards the forward pocket. This is Gibson racing at the ball, and he handballs it straight over the line. Handley is really the uh, player that has got away from the Bears. He was up there in 1990, and they agreed to part terms, so he went, packed his bags and went off to Swan Districts, only to find himself in the most powerful side in the AFL at the present time. Quick kick away by David Wern. Brownless over the top. Clarkson round the corner. Krasiska, who has been quiet tonight. Must have been hard to get yourself up after the Collingwood being beaten. Here's Voss, the 16-year-old. He's captain of his state here, Bruce. Yeah, agree. Voss, uh, good point, Jared. I'll pay that. Here's Dunstall. Danaher at the back. McIver, good tackle on him. Handball by Thompson to Anthony Danaher. Switches it inside to Kelly. Goes again to Thompson. Short kick ineffective. Simpson attacks it. So does Werner. And with him, Kennedy. Werner tries to get a handball away. Corey Bell unloaded. Carroll tries to barge his way through. So does Thompson. And also Powell now with a handball inside to Coleman. Coleman across to Kelly from centre wing. Paul Kelly to the pocket. Thumped down by Longmire. Had to do the defensive with almost a free kick. Here's a chance for Longmire. He races into goal. And John Longmire has kicked two. That could be his third. No, he's missed. And goal umpire Jimmy Orr races across to signal that. Well, Kelly on to Krasiska is a good move because Matthew Simpson was tagging Kelly in the first quarter and kept him relatively quiet. Now Kelly's getting possessions and keeping Krasiska, a Queensland captain, very quiet indeed. Clarkson from centre. Goes towards Dunstall, one of his few opportunities. Jason Dunstall at the back, Tui in the front spot. The pickup was a good one from Wern to the goal square. Rolling, 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 and hitting the post. Oh. Second time, I think he's done that. And Queensland up to 1 3 to 7 4. So bad luck there for um, the Melbourne uh, player as Danaher goes short. Well, danger here for Gaifer. And he's going to get a free kick against Grimley. Well, perhaps Norm Dare could consider bringing Dunstall out the centre-half forward. The ball just isn't getting down long enough. As we see, Tim Powell take an extraordinary mark on this half-back flank. Well, Timmy Powell is having a night out. Former Assumption College schoolboy champion. He kicked 100 goals with Assumption. Here's the kick into another man who's capable of kicking 100. John Longmire. Oh, Barrett ran into a brick wall. Now Jamie Lawson. Look at the pace. Lawson always should have handballed over the top. It cost him a certain goal. Hanley to Carlson. Not good play, Jamie Lawson. So this is Darren Carlson, who's doing pretty well to half forward. This is where they've been falling down, but racing after it for Queensland is Jones. He's got it. No backup support. Anthony Danaher comes in after it. Here's Jason Dunstall. Lays off a hand pass to Grimley. Grimley around the corner has kicked the goal. Good play, Dunstall. 7-4, 15 to 46. Grimley's goal after the Dunstall handle. Handy wins the tap. Wheeler out of the centre. Well, pushed there by Neil. He's uh, wearing number 14. He's originally posted at 29, Robbie Neil. And that was an excellent smother from Tony Lynn down there to uh, trap that ball from Speedy Gonzalez. It was a certain goal for New South Wales and finished up with one for Queensland. Well done, Tony Lynn. Clark's kick is very good to Hanley. 
just noticed a moment ago too, Jerry, that Dunstall was a bit proppy. I'm interested to see how he goes for the ball when he gets his next chance. Good mark by Willets. Subiaco player. Played in the Premiership side uh, in 88. Hayden Button Jr. is his coach. A famous name in football. He's certainly limping Jason Dunstall. No doubt in the world. And that is not good news. I hope he hasn't strained a muscle. Well, he's, he's had a lot of problems with his ankle. As Willets has kicked. She's on a bad kick. He's got the distance. And he's got the accuracy. Excellent goal there by uh, Rod Willets. So, suddenly... Jarrett Queensland race up to 3-3 three, three to 7-4. Well, it's good to see them kick two consecutive goals. Handley having an influence once again. Terrific mark there from Willits. Who kicks his first goal. Could well have had three because he's run into open goals. Only missing the taking the mark on the goal line by a matter of yards. But well done to Willits and well done to Queensland. Well, they're back in this. Another couple of quick goals, and that man's been terrific at the handley at the centre bounces. Gee, has been good there. Scotty McIver on towards Troy Clark. Some hard work in the clinches there. But really, they're not out of this. They're only four goals behind. And really, New South Wales seem to have dominated. Dunstall down there in the goal square, just, uh, just handling his left calf. So perhaps he's strained something in the bottom half of the leg. Well, again, Handley got the tap out. He's impressive. And it's halfway between centre wing and half forward for New South Wales. There's Dunstall and Danaher, but uh, Dunstall not 100%. You can even see uh, at the moment, just doing a couple of stretching exercises. He taped his uh, ankles heavily tonight, as you'd expect. He was going to go for an operation, but after kicking 17 goals, decided against it and has made himself available for this match. Now... Dennis Carroll from uh, about to 75 metres out. He's got Longmire and Brownless as a couple of dual targets. Goes across to centre half forward. The back barrage. Well played though by Voss. Here's Brownless. Good take by Billy. Well, he's got a high tackle there and will get a free kick. Poor tackle, wasn't it? Queensland club doctor now going out to Jason Dunstall. It's either a quad muscle. A driver, as they say, in other states of Australia, or the thigh. His power, so we'll no doubt keep an eye on Dunstall's progress. I think every Hawk fan back in uh, Victoria would uh, be on the edge of their chair right now. And I think all football fans here don't like seeing champions out of the game. Here's Lynn. The kick to centre wing. There's a pack of players congregating around the ball. It's tapped on, trying to crash his way through with Simpson. Taken away by Paul Kelly. Kelly to the pocket. And was that over the line? That could be close to out in the full. No, the mark has been paid. And it is Glenn Page. As the rain tumbles down. The short one in towards the pocket. Oh, Cotter waited underneath it. Now it's tapped on Troy Clark. Back to Cotter, who's been impressive. Jason Cotter, only a little man, but he has a real go. Glenn Coleman waits underneath to take the mark. Centre wing, New South Wales leading 46 to 21. Coleman to centre half forward. Good uh, stretch there by Wern. Here's McIver, who's had a very interesting duel with Terry Danaher. The kick to half forward it was Jones getting back Powell, who uh, we've already mentioned has been excellent. His kick to uh, Tui straight through Bernard's legs. Willits comes on to it. Oh, good play, Lawson. Came from nowhere and then goes out towards Coleman off his chest. Uh, Voss after it, and oh. uh, over the top of him, free Kelly, kick. and a free kick. No, nah, it's not, but it should have been. I agree, but um, the throw in at uh, half forward. Queensland desperately trying to score a couple of quick goals as New South Wales side goes out towards centre wing. I think that was Dennis Carroll kicked that in that pack. And Jason Dunstall is coming off the ground, I think. And that is bad news for Hawthorne and Queensland. And, uh, well, he was waiting down there for a long time and must have been getting cold, as I said. And uh, it's very easy for a full forward to tear a muscle. Well, there's Handley tapping it away. Dennis Carroll. Oh, he ran straight into Lawson. Carroll Simpson gets it across to Troy Clark. Now it's little Cotter who's been terrific. Good play by Cotter. Further afield to Voss. Voss to the half forward line. Willets. He breaks clear. 
Jones, I should say, Robert Jones, onto the left foot, the kick, and it's a goal. Seven, the news that Jason Dunstall's just gone off the ground for Queensland, obviously injured, and uh, we'll get a report on his situation shortly. Here's Kelly out of the centre. Uh, the tackle on him by McIver, Terry Danaher, the handball to Barrett, he really should go. Drop punt, goes for it, and puts it through. There's Dunstall, 8-4 to 4-3. Jason Dunstall going down to the dressing rooms, and it's 52 to 27. Yes, well, Jason, unfortunately, had a, an ankle problem last year where one of his tendons snapped, and Cameron Williams has more news on Jason Dunstall. Yes, Jason Dunstall has jarred his left knee. They think that it's all right, but uh, obviously they're not willing to take any risks at all with him. Uh, they're going down to have a closer examination in the room, but it is likely at this stage that he'll come out for the third quarter. Well, that's uh, not bad news. 8-4 to 4-3, 52 to 27. New South Wales getting a quick reply. Gay for court. The ball ripped off him. A quick kick by Carlson to centre half forward. Willits and Tui go at it. Tui punches it away. Now, did he cop one in the back? Umpire Peter Cameron said no as it's socket off the ground. Number 26, you see there for Queensland is Willits, who's now playing in the Western Australian Football League. To throw in at, at half forward. Only four goals to marginal, just under eight, four to four, three. Krasiska versus Coleman. Coleman, a 25 metre punch around the boundary line. Voss was in there. It's tapped out towards Carroll. Where's Terry Nanaher? He's lost it. For Queensland, there was Jones, who's done well since coming on the ground. Now it's David Wern. Still, it's close to the boundary line. Slippery conditions. It was Stephen Wern, not David Wern. Number 22. And David Wern is number 14. 52 to 27, New South Wales lead. Krasiska with a backhand, a free kick, though, for shepherding the ruck will go to Coleman. 31-year-old who um, played uh, about the same number of games at Fitzroy and Sydney. Well, it really is a body blow for Queensland. Dunstall going off. And I think that uh, all their players must get a general lift around the ground now. It's a bit unusual to see him going off if there's a chance to come back on, though, Peter. Well, let's hope he comes back on. Coleman's kicked the centre wing. Brownless in the front spot. Gibson was over the back with Hanley. Queensland tried to force it out. Quick kick away by Hanley to centre half forward. Here's Stewart, almost a good mark there. Just bouncing out at the last moment. Gaper and Krasiska together, the uh, two teammates. The handball by Kelly was OK to Carroll. An interchange coming up for New South Wales. Here's Lawson as Brunton comes on for New South Wales. Clarkson's handball went nowhere. Tried to get to Hanley. Clarkson again, tackled by Powell. To his handball, OK. Kelly threw it away and a free kick against him. It's at half back for Queensland. As the kick comes out towards centre wing. Now they've got a chance to go forward here. Number 11, you see, for Queensland was Kennedy. Now it ends up with Wern, Stephen Wern, in towards half forward. Very slippery conditions now, difficult for the players. Dennis Carroll, all brought to ground, almost holding it. Must have just got in a hand pass. Troy Clark centres it. Good thinking by Clark. Well done by Troy Clark. That's a free kick oh, for holding the man. On. It should have been a free kick. Cotter races after it. He's been impressive. He really didn't have the ball when he was dragged down then, Jarrett. No, he dropped the mark and then was slung to the ground. It was a certain free kick to Queensland. Corey Bell comes on for Robbie Jones. He did all right, number 29. He kicked a lovely left foot goal. 8 4 4 3. Coleman to go in the ruck with Krasiska. So they are uh, a bit short on, aren't they? When Krasiska's doing a lot of the uh, ruck work. Carlson unable to get a kick away. Voss. Handball by Simpson, swung it out towards Cotter. Cotter from 40 metres out, takes on uh, Gaifer, unable to get around him. A handball OK uh, by the Queensland to Krasiska. Tapped away then by Kelly. And Cotter unable to keep it in and out of play. And on comes uh, Rudy Frigo. So Norm Deer making a number of changes. Here's Frigo running on the 18-year-old from Maine, who's on the Bears list. 
get to play a game this year. And Krasiska goes over the top against Coleman. Does all right. Coleman's handball only as far as Voss. Voss's kick gave Grimley a tough one. Stewart unable to take advantage of it. Here's Danaher. Anthony Danaher with a high one. Troy Clark underneath it. Players misjudge that badly. There's a kick by Terry Danaher, and I think he's put it out on the fall. So Queensland really have lifted their game. Have seven minutes in which to make up the leeway before before half time. Eight four to four three. Well, we said at the start of the match that this was about uh, tradition. This game, and one of the great traditions in Queensland is their tackling, a rugby league state, and they're really showing that they can put some offensive and some defensive pressure on New South Wales. Again, Queensland go forward. This time it's in the forward pocket. Uh, tapping it back to the line is Darren Holmes. So it'll be a throw in about 25 metres around from the Queensland goal. And there's Grimley and Jones on the bench. Coleman and Gibson to do the ruck work. Conditions are pretty tough here now. It's very slippery. Krasiska centering Gibson and Lawson together. Wheeler punches it away. Tackled by Tui on Willets. Now Wheeler. Quick kick. Gets some distance to up the centre wing. Danaher there with McIver. Hanley. Already uh, talked about his virtues today. Tonight, good kick. Free kick surely there to Queensland. No, the kick by Gibson. Not bad. A chance. Just oh. missing. Good attempt, wasn't it? But uh, a behind. So Queensland at 4-4 four, four to 8-4. Four. Michael Gibson. Ex-Bear and Fitzroy player. Now playing uh, with Cooper, where he's the coach there. Captain coach. Here's Anthony Denner, who, who has made a good recovery for that reconstruction last year. He has, and not easy to come back after those serious knee operations. But he'd be glad to see uh, Jason Dunstall off the ground. Just a bit of pressure off. Here's Wheeler with the dreadlocks. Yannick Noah lookalike. Matthew Wheeler to the centre of the ground, and Powell has had a fantastic game. On to Kelly. To the half forward line. This player's racing after it. Kick away for Queensland was by Kennedy. Still at half forward for New South Wales. Kennedy off the ground again. Taken by Powell. Powell of the half forward line and the mark has been taken by Brownless. Now, although he's kicking into the slight freeze, Billy will kick from 53 metres. And would be oh the players don't think he can make it. He'll make this without well, any question. I'd say I think too. he will too. Billy Brownless goes back and kicks long. Beautiful long kick. A goal. 4-4-4. Four, four, four. Brownless with three. 58 to 28. Hanley wins the tap. And Brunton on the ground number five. It's Barrich and Voss. Voss the youngest player out there at 16. Handball for, from Lawson. Now... Uh, Kennedy, left foot, gets a bit of distance. Here's Stewart versus Danaher. Bit of a difference there in experience. Holmes is handball under pressure. Clark's handball over the top, OK to Willits. Goes back to Clark, tucked away in the pocket. Centering kick. Getting underneath it, Gafer. Chance for Stewart, ridden into the ground. And it's going to be a ball up. Strong tackle by Holmes, wasn't it, Jared? Yes, uh, one of his assets, Holmes, is that he comes in hard and low. Queensland have moved Gavin Krasiska to centre forward, trying to get some more strike power up there. Now, Coleman against Gibson. and Oh, nearly a throw, that. Well, a point conceded, but a scoop up there by oh. New South Wales. Well, that was been red hot on this, uh, this season. I would have considered that one a definite throw, Peter. Well, that's anywhere else on the ground, that would be a throw. Not paid there. So 9 4 to 4 5. It's uh, 58 to 29. Double the score. Anthony Danaher right out to the halfback line. Wheeler caught behind. Almost a free kick to Gibson, I feel. He was held. And or is it going to McIver? One of the two. It's going to Scotty McIver. It's a real bonus for the Bears, McIver, getting this game under his belt. They have been down in manpower the last couple of weeks and uh, he should slot straight back into that bare side. And what a difference he'd make because he just feeds off 20 handballs a week to uh, smaller players. Yeah, he's an excellent player. Best and fairest at Fitzroy in 88. Scotty McIver has gone short, a dangerous one, and the mark has been taken by Barrett. Gets it across to Powell. What a game he's had. He might be a chance for the Terry Danaher medal. The best man on the ground is Voss. Clucky. Kennedy 
Simpson getting it to Troy Clark. Some strong tackling by New South Wales. As players race in on top of it at the 50 metre line. Just under three minutes of play left before half time. 9 4 New South Wales, Queensland 4 5. The Northerners attacking the Queenslanders. Handball by Coleman to Werner having a run and a bounce and goes bang towards Longmire who runs a lures underneath it very cleverly goes off the ground and kicks a goal three good forwards New South Wales as compared with the other end of the ground with certainly with Dunstall off the ground Hanley again very aggressive but Powell I think he's nearly been best man on the ground and Werner would be pressing him closely as well now Longmire up in front with similar conditions to this, or probably heavier rain when he kicked those eight goals against Victoria. 29 for Queensland is Robert Jones to centre wing and a good mark taken there by Werner. Campbell to Wheeler. Wheeler to centre half forward. Page in the front spot. Free goes Hamble, didn't go anywhere. Kelly breaks the tackle. Hamble over the top to Page. It's a Neil, I should say, is a good one. And Neil goes for goal and kicks it. The 18-year-old gets his first goal, and it's 11-4 to 4-5. And tell us something about young Neil, uh, Jared. Well, an excellent prospect from C Canberra. Teal Cup player down there. He won the best and fairest in the Teal Cup last year. And he's an exceptionally talented player. Very close to the senior selection for the Swans. And I'm sure he's running over to Bacchanara saying, cop that, Bucky, I want a game next week. <laughs> Well, back to the centre with Peter Cameron to bounce it down. Tapped down by Coleman. Wern, Stephen Wern to the... Oh, what a sensational mark. What a great mark taken there by Holmes. Uh, with the wet ball that Carlson has marked at the 50-metre line. Glenn Coleman limping behind play. Looks to a, a cork thigh or a strain there. Oh, Darren Carlson's been one of the Queensland's better players in towards full forward. A pack of players congregate. Here's a chance for a quick kick at goal. And I think it's a goal. Yes! Willits. Or was it Bell? We might see it again in the middle. 11 4 to 5 5. Well, here is the goal. Kicked down by Darren Carlson, who's having a good battle with Speedy Gonzalez on the wing but I think it was Rod Willits yes it was Willits who slipped that one through for his second goal there's Coleman in a bit of trouble and uh, he's gone down to the forward line 70 to 35 so almost a half time New South Wales double Queensland score but it's been a good fight back by Queensland in this term Cotter out of the centre towards centre half forward a goal before half time would be a big booster to them Here's Gaifer, under some pressure. Tui uh, legging on Gaifer, so free kick to the Collingwood defender. It's a long time since we've seen Michael Gaifer running down the ground having and taking a lot of marks, isn't it? He's an excellent player, but I reckon he's had more kicks in this match than he's had for the season. So he goes to centre wing. He's normally the tagger for Collingwood. A handball by Simpson. Unfortunately, Lynn unable to take it as the clock ticking down inside the last 10 seconds. Simpson tries to get through. A good play there to Krasiska. Francisco around the body. The mark taken by Bell. Siren about to go. Bell's left foot kicked the full forward. Danaher at the back with Gaifer. And the siren sounds. Queensland thwarted there in their last attempt. And at half time, it's 11-4 to 5-5. Coleman. But the big goal scorers have been Longmire and Brownless. They've got six between them. Three apiece. Two, he's uh, had a good battle with Willits. Willits has kicked a couple of goals. Wern had chipped in for a goal early. I guess one of the biggest stories of the first half is that Jason Dunstall was kept goalless and had to leave the field, we believe, with a slight strain to his knee and we'll have, uh, obviously, a further report on Dunstall. But at half-time from a wet SCG, it's New South Wales 11-4, leading Queensland 5-5.